Buenos dias, y'all. RGT85 here. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I know that I did. Hanging out with family, eating lots of food, and then eating some more food and more food. I need to I need to go on a little bit of a diet. But of course, we have some video game news to talk about today. That is why you are here. A couple stories going on that I definitely want to cover. If this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, share the video, all that YouTube crap. But without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. And we're going to start things off with a bit of a sad story, a bit, a bit of a disappointment for a lot of people, myself included, actually, because this was a game that I'm actually really looking forward to. I know it's not a franchise that I talk about playing all that much but Final Fantasy 16 now ever since we saw this game initially I was really looking forward to it I, I really think it's going to be awesome I super enjoyed Final Fantasy 7 remake I thought that was an absolutely fantastic experience and you know I was really looking forward to the latest installment in the franchise it looked like it was going down that more action-based route which is what I like for my RPGs nowadays and a lot of people were thinking that this game was going to be a 2022 release but this game has been delayed the producer for the game Mr. Yoshida actually put out a tweet yesterday saying that there's basically been issues going on with Final Fantasy 16. They had planned to do a reveal for the game, showing more of the gameplay elements, showing more of the story elements later in this year of 2021. But of course, I mean, we had we had COVID. So now it looks like this game won't get any big information until 2022. A lot of people feel like this game was never going to come out in 2022 or, you know, maybe it was a 2023 game. I was definitely one of those people because really, I mean, you can't believe any of these game dates. If it has like a concrete release date, then like, yeah, maybe it'll actually come out on that day. But when people just give a year, I mean, think of how many Sony games ended up getting delayed in the year of 2021. We were supposed to have God of War, Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo 7. And of course, none of those games came out in 2021. And so I always felt that this game was a bit of a ways off anyways, but it seems like it's actually going to be a bit of a more ways off. I guess potentially it could be a winter 2022 release but i definitely feel this game is going to be a 2023 game but i am looking forward to learning about this game more i am looking forward to seeing some of the character mechanics as far as you know what the story is going to be all about and of course most importantly more of the gameplay stuff i think this game is going to be very special i wasn't a huge fan of final fantasy 15 but final fantasy 7 remake definitely sort of brought me back into the fold and i hope that they try to capture a story similar to that obviously final fantasy Fantasy 7 is a very impactful game. It's one of the greatest games of all time. Yes, I will admit that, even though I used to not appreciate it all that much back in my younger years, I definitely really enjoy this game a lot more now. But I am hopeful for this game. I do think that this game will be fantastic when it does come out. It's just a matter of when it's going to come out because I feel like this delay, they basically said that they're like six months behind because of COVID now. I feel like that's going to really put the project in an interesting state to the point of where it's like, yeah, you'll probably need to talk about a 2023 release with this game. And, and that's okay. Like Final Fantasy games usually take a long time to put together anyways. And I mean, you have Final Fantasy VII Remake that could now be put on other platforms because that time exclusive has run out I'm surprised it's still not on the Xbox but I think Square Enix is going to have a really cool year in 2022 we already know about games like Project Triangle strategy coming to the switch and I'm interested in seeing what else they're doing they're also doing that chocobo racing game I, I don't know dude I, I like Mario Kart clones if they're done well and this game looks like it's done well but are you surprised by this did you expect Final Fantasy 16 to be coming out next year because if so I mean I I, I got an island to sell you and you can pay top dollar for you know you know better yet i got an nft to sell you here is the nft i'll put it up on the screen right now the bidding starts at one million dollars and with that nft you can actually sell that nft and buy yourself a copy of final fantasy 16. and finally the nintendo switch obviously had a very successful holiday season but of course, there were some issues with it, such as the online service, basically logging in to update your system, logging in to download any eShop games. The Grinch was behind this and he was like, nah, nah, you're, you're, not, you're not downloading anything. You ain't doing nothing. I initially blamed the fat man for giving out too many switches, but then I felt like, you know, the Grinch was probably behind this. That's the whole reasoning for yesterday's video. I feel like the Grinch was the one stealing all of this Christmas joy because I mean, that, that's what he does. 
A Jim Carrey movie still sucks, by the way. But Nintendo is actually doing something pretty interesting right now, where if you are a My Nintendo member, which I'm sure most people are, if you buy a Nintendo system, you probably sign up for it because you have to do it anyways in order to get bonuses and stuff like that. You can actually get the Nintendo Switch online service for free for seven days without using any platinum points. Now, the way it's set up right now is basically if you have platinum points, when you get to a certain number of points with the service, you can then get a free trial of the Nintendo Switch online service but right now nintendo said hey if you got a switch you're a my nintendo member you can get access to the nintendo switch online service for free for seven days and i think that's a good thing you know you obviously want people with their systems to sign up for the service because that way they can you know play games online and play the nes stuff and the super nes stuff i do think it's kind of funny how they're doing it right now when the servers are already you know under constant strain like yesterday when i was trying to make the video talking about the sale games on the switch eShop, literally the eShop website was crashing and like it would stop loading and stuff like that and I'm like holy crap there must be a lot of people on here right now so the timing of it is a bit peculiar in my opinion I feel like they should have waited a few more days I guess it's seven days from when you activate the trial though so if you wait a few more days for the service to sort of you know let up and not as many people be on it then you'll be able to access these games but the real strange thing to me is why just the base service and i know what you're saying well obviously the expansion pack costs more money you get more stuff with it you get more systems with it and like i get that that's cool but that really seems like a way for me to increase more people getting the expansion pack like think of it this way even if somebody got animal crossing and they used it to get the animal crossing dlc for free you just make the dlc not work after that you may you make it so that they can't access it anymore or with the seven day trial of the expansion pack if they were to do that just take away the the animal crossing dlc let people check out the n64 games let people check out the sega genesis games as well because obviously that's what nintendo wants people to do i don't think they necessarily want people to sign up just for you know the base service or anything like that the real money in this to me is in the expansion pack portion and that's the portion that they're obviously focusing on right now because since it was announced and released we haven't gotten anything on the base service as far as new games are concerned there's been no new nes or super nes games released on the system it's of course been just uh sega genesis and n64 stuff and it looks like in the future it's going to be more n64 stuff and pretty much the nes and the super nes are sort of just an afterthought with this so i think this is sort of a missed opportunity like yes it's always cool to get free stuff i don't think anyone could ever complain about something being for free but i do feel like this is a bit of a missed opportunity because you could really show off everything that the thing can do as far as the classic games are concerned obviously many of us have fond memories of the n64 on christmas morning now i'm not one of those people i didn't get mine till the summer after that because it was hard to find the n64 but i got good report cards i got my n64 i got my turok the dinosaur hunter and then I had to get an RF connector because my, my TV in my bedroom that I had did not have AV out because it was an absolute piece of shit. The bottom bar used to like fall down on the screen. So like it was a 13 inch screen, but like the viewing angle was like this because the screen would mess up and you have to punch the top of it. I hated that damn TV. But yes, if you don't have Nintendo Switch online and you've been curious about it, now you can check it out for free for seven days if you're a My Nintendo member. Head on over to the website and sign up for it. It's definitely worth checking out, even if you're not super interested in it, because, I mean, you can play online stuff for seven days for free and check out some NES and Super NES stuff. But I do feel like it is a bit of a missed opportunity. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In case you missed yesterday's video, obviously the Children's Miracle Network video didn't blow up like I thought it necessarily would. It didn't even hit the view threshold for the $500, but I said I would do a $500 minimum regardless of anything. It was the holiday season. Lots of people were traveling. I understand why that did, video didn't do too great. But I did announce yesterday that we gave a thousand dollars to the Children's Miracle Network because I mean, why not? You know, why not? It's the holiday season. We let's spread a little good cheer and a little good joy into, you know, kids who are obviously put in a really shitty predicament if they're having to deal with the Children's Miracle Network because of the fact that, you know, their health isn't in good order and, you know, they might not make it to see another day. So I'm a big advocate for helping out people like that because you know it's kids man they, they, they don't know no better they, they can't do anything about their surroundings or just you know put into that situation but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give me your feedback in the comments section down below final fantasy 16 are you surprised that that got delayed because 
I'm really not. And are you going to check out the Nintendo Switch Online service since it's technically free for seven days? And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.